Good morning, and welcome to St. Margaret's Episcopal Church in Palm Desert, California. And thank you for joining us for morning prayer on May 3rd, 2023. Today on the church calendar, we commem commemorate Elizabeth Grutiger, who was the first female poet and hymn writer of the Protestant Reformation and a friend of Martin Luther. Today's psalm readings and collect are in favor of her. A link to the bulletin for this service of morning prayer is available on both our Facebook and YouTube posts. If you have a book of common prayer, the service of morning prayer begins on page 75. The book of common prayer is also available online at bcponline.org. Please join me in the worship where the words are printed in bold. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. But death that he died, the death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Um, alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Please join me in reciting Psalms 26 responsively by whole verse. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go in procession round your altar, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with the sinners, nor my life with those who thirst for blood, whose hands are full of evil plots and their right hand full of bribes. As for me, I will live with integrity. Redeem me, O Lord, and have pity on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the full assembly, I will bless the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Joel. 
O children of Zion, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain and the early and the later rain as before. The threshing floor shall be full of grain. The vat shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army, which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is no other. And my people shall never again be put to shame. Then afterwards, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female slaves in those days, I will pour out my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he hath looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and set the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promises he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. 
Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create, us, create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Pour out your spirit upon all of your sons and daughters, almighty God, that like your servant, Elizabeth Kruchiger, our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship may give you glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly de dedicated unto you. And then use us, we pray you, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you again for joining us this morning. If you are interested in continuing worshiping with us, please follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click the notification button so you never miss a service. Our next service will be Compline, which will be posted on our Facebook page and YouTube channel Sunday evening. We offer two in-person services on Sundays, the first at 8 a.m. and the other at 10 a.m. The 10 a.m. service is also live streamed on both our Facebook page and YouTube channel. I hope you will join us again in worship. For all of us St. Margaret's, have a wonderful day. It's been a joy worshiping with you.